Okay, this video here, I'm going to show you my version of the modified Alberto knot for tying a braided line to a monofilament line. And I've got the 30 pound braid here, and I've taken it and I fold it in half, and I left myself about a six or eight inch tail. And then I've taken a loop in my mono. I'm going to feed that through, I'm going to give myself about six inches of line there to play with. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch this right here in the loop. Like this. And then I'm going to wrap this six or seven times. One, two, three. Try to keep the line tight when you wrap it. Every event slack from being at the knot when it slips down. Five, six, Oops, six. You can pinch further down if you need to. Seven. And I'm going to go back over that. Going through the thread of the knot. The wrap, I should say. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm going to go back out the nylon the same way I went through the nylon monofilament. And one thing I like to do is I like to do a double wrap at the end. I find it doesn't come untied as much. Here's my double. I'm going to take these three and this one here, I'm going to pull them. You're going to see that cinch right up. And I'm going to take my tails that I have hanging here. I've got the double and the single. I'm going to snip that off. And I'm going to take my tail of my mono. Right here. I'm going to Snip that off. What you got here is a nice clean knot. Clean knot? And I want to show you something. 30 pound braid, 20 pound mono. And I like to do the pull test on it as I try these to change the various wraps with the different size mono and braid. And I'm going to take these two spools here and I'm going to pull them to break. And that knot is not going to break. Have a good night.